Bank Hazard. Okay, before we get into this video, um, I just want y'all to make sure you rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And most importantly, share this video. What's going on, y'all? This is King Real, the King of Real Games, and I'm coming at y'all with some 2K gameplay. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to give an update on the competition uh, to win free 2K, um, a t-shirt, and a Conqueror Athletic apparel shirt. Um, we got a couple of problems. Um, the contest is going well for the most part, but we got some people who are clicking entries to get points and they're not following the directions. And this is going to be the last time I tell you, I'm not going to keep tweeting every single one of y'all telling y'all to follow the directions. Okay, so when it comes to subscribing to Super Cat Girl Plays and tweeting proof to me with the hashtag, I subscribe to Super Cat Girl Plays, you have to show me a screenshot showing that you have subscribed to her channel. And secondly, when it comes to rate commenting and subscribing, well not subscribing, but sharing my videos, you have to show a screenshot. You have to message me, either it be on my Facebook page, Instagram, or Twitter, whatever, whichever one uh, you can, you feel like you can contact me on. And you have to show a screenshot of of your your like and your share, or you can link me to the post. That that would be the easiest way to link me to you to show me that you shared my content um, and you can do this as much as you can as many videos as I have for daily entries because the key is to have as many points as possible so that you can win the contest because if you if you don't get enough points you, you lessen your chances of winning the game and the two shirts now as you see I got a little gameplay of me playing a couple of park matches um, honestly, my opinion of the game is I really enjoy the game. Um, the grind is not as nerve-wracking as it was in the previous 2Ks, and I'm really liking that. Um, one problem I got is with mostly the players, um, because I don't really have a team yet, so um, anybody listening, if you you're a good player and you want to link up and play with me uh just send me a message um, and add me on playstation but my main problem is <clears throat> there's a lot of players on this game that don't have good basketball iq um and i think that there's three things that you should you should know when you when you're playing with random people with people you don't know and you can even apply this on the basketball court if you go play some pickup games one thing you need to know is how to properly run pick and roll. The second thing is, in my opinion, uh, being able to run the give and go. And third, which is not necessarily all that important, um, is when a player is in ISO, knowing how to properly space the floor. But then again, you need to know how to space the floor in all aspects of the offensive game and even the defensive game but i've been running into a lot of problems uh and it typically comes from playing with randoms um, so i've noticed that i'm not really going to be able to enjoy playing in the park and playing in the rec until i get me some people that i have like some kind of chemistry with another thing a lot of people are guilty of this myself included um taking bad shots like stop trying to be a glory hog and pass the ball we got plenty of time on the clock you get a full 24 second clock that's plenty of time to run around get open and find the best shot for your team like are you trying to get stats and and boost your boost your uh player rating 
or are you trying to win? Uh, most important to me is, is trying to win. You boost your you boost your stats and you get your rating up and get your VC and all that in in my career because it isn't you don't get much from playing into my part unless you play a lot of games. I'm guilty of taking bad shots from time to time myself. But it's some people that be like, yay, I got the ball. I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna shoot it. I don't care if there's two players covering me. I don't care if there's a teammate wide open. There was a game I played the other day where one of the guys quit. So when you got an AI player out there, you can make them pass you the ball. And we was down in the game and we had came back, tied it up 19-19. Now that footage isn't included in here, but um, it's still a good example to explain to y'all. So we down 19-19. The guy was a shooter that quit. So typically when a shooter quits, his AI player gets off good shots, even if him personally is a bad shooter. So. I get the guy the ball, he wide open for a shot, and my other teammate makes him pass, makes him pass the ball to him, and he takes a, a double team contested shot, misses the shot, the other guy gets the rebound, and they take it down to, to the other end and they score and we lose the game. Now what kind of shit is that? Like, think, think about winning as opposed to being being a glory hall. Furthermore, we also have to talk about these badge glitches. And from what I've seen, they are too much trouble. I saw one badge glitch where a guy had to shut down 2K, upload his save data, and then do that four times just to get one badge. Um, that's you could have played more games as opposed to doing that. Just put the game on pro and breeze through them quarters and you'll easily get your bags. Honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. If I had somebody to do it for me, I would let them do it. Because, shit, I wanna go ahead and get my badges and stuff, but I'm not gonna put in time uploading my save and then going, in, going back into the game and then simming the rest of the game and then saving the game and then going back out and then downloading my save and then doing that all over again. That is way too much. And then there's another badge glitch where you gotta, you gotta uh, start off by making a whole new character. Um, and people are already invested in the one that they got. Um, with, with the with the demo, you was able to see what kind of player you wanted, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people stuck with what they made in the beginning. Like I made a two a two way uh, playmaking slasher, and that's pretty much what I got. Now I got it fine tuned a little bit more to the point where he's not two way, but still, he's he's basically the same player I had in the demo. And so I'm sticking with that. I'm not gonna make a new player until I get this one maxed out. Um, maybe I'll make a small forward or something, but then again, I got other games to play, so I may just stick with this point guard. I like the way my point guard plays. Um, he's, he's way better than the other, other players I've made uh, in previous times, and I really enjoy what I got with him. Especially since they add the, added these new badges and reworked the badge system. Um, my favorite badge is a uh, quick first step because again, I don't like to do all that dribbling, and and that's another annoying thing with with these players. They like to do all this dribbling, going side to side, left to right, left to right, behind the back dribble, and all that crap, and just running the isos all the time. I'm, I've never been that type of player. I'm the type of player to get the ball out of my hands to the player with the open shot or in a position to where they can pass it to somebody else. I'm, I'm truly a team player. So yeah, that's that's really all I got to talk about right now. Um, again, 
click the link in the bio to enter the contest to win a free copy of 2K. Um, the contest will be ending in October, in the middle of October. Um, and I'll be announcing the winner on my Wednesday upload. I think it'll be the second Wednesday of the month. Actually, no. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me look at the calendar. Yeah, it'll be actually the third Wednesday in that month because um, that month has five weeks. So it'll be the third Wednesday in October, October the 16th. I'll be announcing the contest winner. Uh, stay tuned to the changes and the entries um, and pay attention to the daily entries. And again, follow the directions to keep your points because the most points, the more points you have, the better chance you have at winning the game in the t-shirts. Alright, peace. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'm out. Also, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, this beat is made by Low Beats. Um, his information will be in the description. Um, the intro beat was made by my pro Byron B and his information will be in the description as well. Peace.